Hello, my dear nurses out there. So in this video, I'm going to guide you how to create NMC account, a step-by-step -step guide I'll be explaining. It is a very easy process. Most of the candidates do come and say that it's a complicated process. Can you help me with that? So I thought of coming up a video where I can help all those candidates who are struggling to create their NMC accounts. If anyone who's not helping you, definitely this video would help. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me directly in the comment box and I'll be helping you with that. And at the end of this lesson, I'll be guiding you some easy links where you can go and learn more about CBT. You can solve live questions. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Make sure you watch the entire video so that you are clear with the steps. Now, let's look at the process of NMC step by step, what to be done if you want to create your account. Now, the first step is you go to this website, which is www.nmc.org.uk. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you directly, rather directly going into the registration step and starting with your application, do a self-assessment, which is available on the website. So by this self-assessment, you will be able to make sure that you have already, you are equipped with the required documents you already have with you. You will also get to know, are you fit to get registered to UK NMC? Are you, are you ready to get into the register? These information will be very clear. So I would suggest you the step one is do a self-assessment, which is available on the website. Now in the self-assessment, you would be choosing the information that you want to register as a nurse or you want to register as a midwife. Now, 70% of the time, the nurse and average nurse who works with ICU, many other departments, they'll be registering as a nurse. But if you want to go as a midwife, it's totally a different process. So you will be entering the register as a midwife. You need to provide the appropriate documents for that. Step three is fill a self-assessment form. I'll guide you what to be done for that assessment form. Step four is this assessment form. You begin where you make sure that you select what is your profession for which register you want to go to you will register as a nurse at that then you'll be checking the application which has been given to you in this form you understood it very well you click it yes i have not issued with an nmc pin in the uk as a nurse previously like you have never applied for nmc and you don't have any nmc pin previously you'll click i have not now in the next page, that is a summary what you have clicked over here. If you want to change, like you have selected nurse adult and now you feel like, no, I need to change it to midwife. So you can edit and you can change that. If there is any mistake, what you have done, your country of nationality, instead of India, you've selected some other country and your current nationality is different, then you can change that as well. So any information which you want to change, which you have clicked earlier, you can change it over here. Then you give a declaration that you understood the process you understood whatever information was asked to you gave it appropriately you understood the process well you mark it i understand and you click on next that is the button next and then you go on to the next step now here in this page you will see an icon which says sign up to register with nmc online so you click on this that is your step six step seven you will get a pop-up of this page in this, you have to make sure that you put your appropriate email address. Your name should be spelled correctly as per your password. So whatever information is asked in this page, you should make sure you enter it appropriately. There should not be any mistake in terms of your email address because after this step, you will be getting a confirmation email. You need to confirm, you need to verify that this is your email address then you will be able to log into your account and then you will be able to continue your application okay so you need to fill this details which is your step seven in step eight this is a verification email this is a sample of a verification email which you will receive from nmc that is nursing and midwifery council you need to confirm your email so you need to click on this link and confirm your email address so once you click on then this link you'll be taken to this page where you need to enter your email address and the password which you have set you need to enter that and you need to log in now when you log in you will get the second page which is security setup now please understand most of the people what they do is they put informations over here whichever is asked and then they forget that please understand when you want to reset your password in future you forget your password and you don't remember what the password was if you want to reset they'll ask you the same questions you should be able to answer it appropriately so make sure 
whatever answers you give over here make sure you note it in a diary or keep it somewhere so that it's secured and in future if you don't remember your security setup questions you can review and then give answers and you will be able to reset your password so you should be careful with this so once this step is done you log in and you will be able to see a chart where it says your eligibility and qualification you have checked appropriately and it has been done so now you continue with the application so here on the top you will be able to see your nmc prn number which is your temporary prn number for this application which is a kind of application number then on your right hand side you will be able to see your name your address and your telephone numbers which you have put in the initial data collection area where you filled in all the details so if you want to change anything click on this update and you can change then you will click on apply and you will go to the next page and you click on apply you will get the pages like this which is called as equality and diversity so they want to know about your nationality they want to know about your background so whatever question is asked over here appropriately click it appropriately you need to mark it okay so the first question is do you have caring responsibility please tick that apply none you click it none primary care of a child or children under 18 years click it primary care of disabled child or children so whatever question is asked over here and if someone who still prefers not to say just click here no problem with that so if there is any disability yes or no you put it over here then you have like questions like how would you describe your national national identity so like if you are british you can click that english irish northern irish scottish welsh and if none of it fit in for you if your nationality is different from what is mentioned over here click other and mention your nationality over here and if you prefer not to say still you can click prefer not to say and you can go ahead no problem with that then we move ahead which is a step 12 that is when you click next they need your passport details now please be very clear and sure when you are applying when you are applying at when you are at this page and you are applying for your nmc account your passport should be valid for minimum 3 months like from the point of your application it should be valid for another 3 months and make sure when you scan your passport your passport is clear before you upload it which means your name your photo your details should be clearly visible now in some scenarios like in india i've seen very commonly like people change their name post marriage so your certificate names are different and your passport names are different so if you have changed your name post marriage you will need to upload further evidence if your application is in the different name to the one of your passport okay so you have to make sure that if you have changed anything then accordingly you need to upload documents if there is any change in your name when we go on, then we go on to the next step that is step 13 wherein you fill in your qualification details now please understand when you fill in your public qualification details you will need to upload a copy of the original qualification certificates you were given when you completed your course you will also need to provide the name address and contact email address of your educational institution now you also need to make sure that you inform your educational institution that you have applied for an nmc account and there are chances that they will receive an email from nmc which they have to verify that you were a student of that particular educational institution they would be verifying that okay you need to make sure also along with your qualification details they'll also be asking you for your council registration so if you are from india in your country of training whichever state it is you have to make sure you give your council name you need to give all the details which is asked from you about your council also you need to make sure that you inform your regulator regulator is your council inform your regulator that you have applied for a foreign council and they will be sending an email to you which is also we call it as foreign verification so you have to make sure that you contact your local council and inform that that inform them that you they are going to receive an email from nmc and they need to verify that so this you have to be very clear and you should be sure about it then only you should go ahead and fill in your details and submit your application now there are some candidates they have never registered in their country of training like they have never registered with council maybe you are a fresher like you just completed 3 or 4 months after your studies and you have not registered for your council still nmc will ask you for the regulator name that is the council name you could register with 
okay like if you wanted to register you could register with whichever council you have locally they'll ask you for that council name and nnc nmc will contact the regulator that is the council to confirm that your qualification would allow you to register with them to check if you meet eligibility criteria of nmc which means they will check with your local council that are you eligible to work in your own country are you eligible to work in in your own state where you are right now okay so if you meet that criteria then they will see that are you eligible for the criteria of nmc so you have to make sure even if you don't have a council registration still you can open up your nmc account but you will have to provide which is your local council over here once that is done this is called as eligibility and that is your step 15 eligibility and qualification summary you need to check whether whatever details you have heard like your passport number your your education uh, education details or your college details your institute details or your regulated details have you put it appropriately if you feel like there is an error you can reevaluate it and you can change it as required but you have to make sure whatever information you are feeding in this it has to be appropriate you need to check with your original documents now then once that is done you have to confirm the details provide first is like you have to agree that the nmc is sharing your information online with third parties for verification process because verification process will be carried out by a third party company so you have to authorize for that then you need to confirm that you understand that the eligibility and qualification evaluation fee is non refundable so please make sure that's reason i told you in the beginning if you are applying for the process you pay an application fee of 143 pounds sorry 143 pounds you pay and once you pay that money and if by any chance your application get rejected or your verification process gets like you you found to be not eligible for the nmc register you will not get a refund so you have to give a declaration over here so you will have to tick to confirm this is required now once everything has been done then you need to pay the application fee which is approximate 140 pounds so when you are ready to submit your eligibility and qualification application you will need to pay the 140 pounds qualification evaluation fee you won't be able to submit your application without paying this fee. so this is essential you will you cannot submit you cannot start your process the fee is non refundable even if the nmc determine that you are not eligible to apply or you don't gain registration you should review your application to make sure all the details are correct to avoid any delays otherwise they'll send you mail this detail is not correct this is not matching with your education institution or with the regulator then you again you need to change there will be delay in process so you have to be careful with this once this process is done you will have to wait till you get an email from nmc saying that your verification is successful that is your next step that is your step number 18 wherein you receive an email okay now this is a sample of an email which will be sent to your regulator that is maybe to your institution or maybe to your council your local council so this is the kind of email what they would require so inform your nursing council that you have applied for nmc and they need to respond to nmc email now you will be also charged by your local regulator that is local council like for example if you're working in india mumbai so your council is mnc so mnc people charges you around 14 to 1500 for your foreign verification so you need to pay that fees and tell them that okay there is an email which is going to come from nmc they need to respond as they'll get a link like this they'll have to click on that and verify that you are a member of this particular council and you have a good conduct there so they'll have to verify your details so this kind of email will be sent to your regulator once that is done once your verification is completed you will be able to log into your nmc account see the status as given below you will be seen in preparation third party verification is successful then qualification regulator verification you can see the status is it in process is it successful so this says that qualification regulator verification status is received then you view and you can see what is the current status once this process is done post verification from council or training institute is done nmc will send an email to the candidate indicating the further steps and also along with this email you will receive another email from pearson view to guide you on how to book cbt exam so this is a copy of an email which you will receive once your verification is done so it takes around 30 to 35 working days okay so once this is done you will receive an email from pearson view pearson view is the body who conducts your cbt examination 
so then you will get you will get a guide like how to how to actually book for your cbt examination then you give your cbt examination you clear your cbt examination you upload your details about it then you do your health verification and all those things would be uploaded along with your gp signatures and your health declaration everything will be uploaded once you pass your cbt exam and all of the formalities are done your hospital where you applied will apply for certificate of sponsorship in the uk so your your nhs hospital whichever you selected the hospital will apply for cos and then you can travel to uk and attend oski now when you attempt oski after your clearance of oski you can apply for your nmc pin that is the second part of your application for which you will be charged around 153 pounds but that can be done once you clear your oski okay so this is the process which you need to follow stay tuned and now you can subscribe our channel on youtube so that you can get updates about the new cbt videos which we are going to upload where i'll be discussing some topics important topics of cbt and you'll get to learn about that also we have a facebook page you can search for british academy of mumbai and subscribe to that channel as well on facebook in which every day we come up with challenging cbt questions where you can see many candidates come and attempt those questions at the end of the day we provide the rationale for that question so this enables you to learn in a more effective way also we are going to come up with some oski videos like oski station by station videos which will help you to understand oski much better and it would be like a pre learning for you before you go and attempt your oski examination so stay tuned with this channel we'll be coming up with more interactive videos where you can also participate in those in those challenging questions uh, challenging videos where you can apply your skills and answer all the questions which have been asked which will enable much effective learning so stay tuned for more videos don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions mention in the comment box i will reply you as soon as possible thank you so much for joining and have a great